All right, so what I have here is a mead project that I'm going to do blueberry, Red Bull, cinnamon, honey, of course, with the mead. There's the lock and the carboy, and my yeast, which has a tolerance of around 19%, D47. Okay, so what I'm gonna do first is put the honey and the carboy. Now time to apply the Red Bull, the flavoring, then the yeast. And we'll shake it up. Usually you can apply the yeast on top of this or some water, shake it up really well. But you definitely want to shake it up at some point before you fill it all the way to the top so that you get it nice and aerated. 20 fluid ounces, 189 milligrams of caffeine total in this. So I'll put my hand over the top and then I'll just start shaking. Mm, that smells good. You want to smell it? Now it's time for a few cinnamon sticks. Now time to add our yeast. Okay, so we've applied our yeast. It's all in there. Now I'm going to add more water. Go ahead and fill it up. Then I'll put my topper on it and we're done. Okay, so I've applied water, about this much water, all the way up to right here where, where it really starts to curve. Uh, really coming down just a little bit would be ideal, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, and roll with it at this point. So now I'm going to take my airlock. This is super important because it doesn't allow anything to come down in here. And so whenever the yeast is off gassing CO2, it'll flow up and through here, push bubbles. You'll tend to accumulate any type of little bugs or gnats or anything like this uh, and they won't make it to the rest of the uh, the drink to contaminate it. So I'm going to pop my cap. Now you don't necessarily need one of these. You could use some type of cloth or something very fine. Just something so it allows it to off gas and not let any bugs in. Put our topper on there. Our cap. Now we're essentially complete. So now after a few days, around 48 hours, you'll start to see it bubble. And then two or three weeks later, it will be uh, about ready to re-rack. So make sure you're staying up to date in what I've got going on um, and follow the links. Thank you.